All right, guys, I am tired of not traveling to the heckin' left. I need to go there. I, I'm going all the way to the heckin' edge to see if we can find the heckin' beach. I've got the, uh, the dynamite fish in my inventory, the quest item. Uh, hopefully he's on this direction. Hopefully he's not, like, uh, in this way. Because apparently people were saying, yeah, uh, the, the, the dynamite fish quest guy is, uh, on a beach or something like that. I don't know which beach, so I'm just going to go to the left because I've always wanted to go there. <laughs> I've never gone over there. So, let's just go. I don't care. I know it's nighttime right now. Do we have everything in our inventory that we might need? We've got food. We've got, uh, we've got creatures. Oh, yeah, I need to use these shurikens. I've, I've always been wanting to use these. Uh, you know what? Instead of the boomerang, let, let's switch it out. And how much damage do they do? Uh, 10 throwing damage compared to- Okay, so it's- it's comparable to the, uh, godly wooden boomerang right there. So not- not too bad. Let's- let's start using these shurikens, because I've- We've had them for, like, the whole series. Never actually used them, so let's go- let's just go heck and use them on whatever we find out here. Now, it is nighttime right now. We- we'll probably come across some zombies or something, but... Uh, we do have the mining helmet, so that's good if we'll just light up the area around us. It looks like it's, uh, about midnight- Oh, whoa! There's a falling star. Is it behind me, or is it... In front of me, I don't know. Oh, there's a zombie right there. I guess we can test it out on him, but yeah, I think it's over here. I must have been to the left or something like that. But yeah, let's keep going to the left if that's the case. Let's keep going. Oh god, zombies! Zombies this way. Oh yeah, here we go. Hit him with the shurikens. And oh god, they jumped on me too. Oh, whoa, it passes through him. Ooh, that's cool. It's doing like multiple damage. Look at that! It got like a triple collateral right there. Nice. Oh whoa, and there's like an eyeball creature. The demon eye. We have to watch out for them, but yeah, these are consuming our heckin' whatever you call them, the shurikens. So I'm going, I'm going to run out of them eventually. It's not like an unlimited use sort of thing, like a like a boomerang or whatever else. So I need to. Oh, jeez! And I need to watch out for them falling down to the ground as well and heckin' killing me. So I need to watch out for that too. There's another uh thing apparently. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. I just killed the zombies like this. Boom! Got him. And oh yeah, and I guess sometimes I'll drop or something. Oh, there's the fall. Or, I think that's the second fallen star. Uh, oh, and there's another shuriken right there. So we can get this guy. Oh my gosh, that was MLG. <laughs> Man, that was amazing. And I can go back and get my shur a few shurikens, that is. That's good. Let's go back and let's go grab them. And uh, you know what? Let's switch back to the katana now. We'll be able to take these guys on no problem. We're down about half health right now, so we need to watch out. Thankfully, some of these guys do drop some health, so that's good. There we go. 250 zombie. Holy heck. That's amazing. There we go. Get that purple zombie out of here. 118 out of 180 health. We have 10, uh, 11 actual uh, healing potions right there, so that's good. Take care of these guys. Let's continue to the left. Oh, another uh, lens right there. I don't know how many lenses we have. I'm pretty sure we can, we, we can afford. Uh, was it like summoning in two of the Eye of Cthulhu bosses or something like that? You guys said it needs uh Oh, there. Yeah, it was right there. Yeah, there's the fallen star. Uh, it, was, it was like six or something like that to spawn that guy in. Oh, man, another fall. Man, I could actually get more mana like right now. Boom, mana crystal, crafted, consumed, up to 140 mana now, nice. Yeah, let's, use, let's go to our Amethyst Staff now. Oh yeah, there's a thing over here though, right? Like a big hole? Yeah, there is. Wait, I didn't build this. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, did I build this? I might have. It's been so long since we've been here, of course, my character, Pancake, hasn't didn't build that. Yeah, the, I definitely must have built that. I'm kind of curious, though, like, what that is down there, you know? Wait, what? How did it... Where did that arrow come from? Was that arrow here, like, before, and it's just, like, never despawned or anything like that? Uh, I guess one of the bad... Oh, man, got, like, full mana right there. Didn't even really need that, though, but... Hey, at least we're testing out our heckin' mana staff, right? Uh, or amethyst staff. I guess it is a mana staff at the same time, but... Thankfully, nighttime is almost past, but... Yeah, unfortunately, we can't get, like, collaterals with the, uh... With the mana here, or whatever this is. Oh, man, speaking of mana, boom! Re-upped on our mana. <laughs> but, yeah! The shurikens, I could definitely see why we'd uh, want to use those. He's pretty cool. Either way, I kind of want to go down here and just see what's like below because I've always been curious. Man, look at all that mana we can pick up right there. Jeez, just re-up on it, no problemo. But yeah, I, I kind of want to go down real quick and see what's over here just to see uh, because I'm pretty sure we built this bridge. Where's our rope at? I don't know. I want to check here just a moment. Uh, did I bring? Oh, yep, there it is right there. And oh, you know what? I guess I'll just wait until it's like daytime or something. Let's get that heckin' katana out. Let's start slicing and dicing. And, oh man, another! I can hear another- oh, savage zombie arm! Whoa, and there's a zombie banner! 13 melee damage! Oh, this one's still 18, yeah, because it's a pointy katana. It is better than our previous zombie arm. I think we just had a, a standard zombie arm or something like that. Guarding shackle. One defense. Oh wait, no, one defense plus two defense. So yeah, we still have that four defense one. 
Definitely want to keep that one. I don't know where this other falling star apparently landed. But I do want to go down there and just see what's in that pit. So... Uh, oh, this is the end of the desert right here. Look at that. It should be turning daytime here any moment. Yeah, I don't know where that falling star landed. Must have been to the right or something like that, but... Yeah, let's go to that pit. Now it's kind of cleared up a bit, and now it's, uh, turning... Oh, whoa! I can vulture right there to kill that... Oh, wait, what in the world? Oh, look at that! There's, like, flowers on that, uh, cactus right there. That's cute. <laughs> let's go over here, let's go... I guess place down some ropes, or... Nah, you know what? That's going to be a waste. I don't think I need to do that. Let's just get rid of a few, uh... Let's, let's place, uh, some wooden... Whatever's right here, because we can actually climb up this, so... I don't think I need to worry about that, but I can kill this, I can vulture. If I want to get it out... I can just go right here, and I'll be good to go, but... Remember, we can climb up this stuff no problemo with our, uh, climbing claws or whatever. But I'm just curious. Like, what's over here? I know I could slide down, doing something. Oh, yep, here we go. Yeah, it's just, it's just like an entrance to a cave or something. Yeah, it is. Oh, I think I might be able to place torches in the background, hold on. Yep, I can, perfect. Alright, let's go do that real quick while we're on our way down. That way I can kind of light it up a bit, you know? And, there you go, there's a sand slime. And, uh... Down here, I'm not seeing anything there. Now, here is a good spot to actually put uh, to some rope and stuff, so let's definitely do that. Where'd our rope? Oh, there it is right there. So let's, uh, let's see. I guess I'll place it right here. I can actually place it in the background, which is good. Uh, I have gotten comments saying, yeah, you can actually uh, place rope. Like, oh, oh God, horizontally. I I'll definitely have to consider that uh, instead of, you know, placing platforms if I already have the rope. Oh, whoa! That was a wing right there. I was wondering what that was. Jeez. Antline Swarmer. Iron? I think that's iron. What is that antlion thing? Is that just like a dead body? What is that? What is that thing? Hold on. Let's go to our bow. Oh, well, it was just a dead body. Okay, I was just wondering what that was. Jeez. <laughs> Place a little bit more rope. Just a little bit. There you go. Go down a little bit more. And that's going to be the bottom-ish right here. Uh, well, hey, look at that. We got some shurikens right there. Let's get ourselves some iron right here and see what we can get uh, with the iron once we get back home. And of course, we do have the magic mirror. We just head home easily that way. Sandstone blocks. Now, what is over here? I kind of want to place another torch. Should probably place more, uh, torches. There you go. Just like that. And, uh, what if I zoom out just a little bit? There's a clay pot down there. I don't know if there's anything over there of worth. Uh, there you go. Place a torch. Yeah, I think that's just dead end there. I guess if anything, I'll, I'll get this clay pot and see what's inside. See if I open up another coin portal. <laughs> get us a bunch of acting gold again, right? Man, that was amazing whenever I opened that up. How many did we get from that thing? Like, ten gold or something crazy? That was amazing! There you go. I literally had to look it up to see, like, what it was named so I could put it in the video title. It was crazy. It's an actual portal that can open up, uh, that just gives you gold. Now, what's this? Speaking of gold... Oh, I think someone was saying... This is fossils! This stuff right here? Did I place a torch here? No, oh, that's just my mining helmet. But yeah, this stuff right here that I can't mine with my, uh, gold pick... Apparently, is fossils. So, uh, you can't blow it up. You can, you can mine it with, I think... The meteorite pickaxe? I forgot what it was called again, but, uh, Crimtane. I think you can mine it with that, they said. So definitely want to come back here in the future if we have a Crimtane pickaxe. That's going to be amazing, you guys. Uh, I am going to- okay, yeah. This is perfect. It's just a dead right here. Perfect. What else is that up there? A little bit of iron. I don't think there's really anything. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a... A cave? Oh, it is! Look at that, I saw it. Now, I don't want to go mining too much more, but I, I just wanted to see what was in this pit, and we, we've kind of- Oh, yep, yep, that's a flying critter. And we've kind of answered that question thus far, you guys, so I, I think we might want to start heading back and actually- Okay, we can kill this guy real quick. Is that a pot? Uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here of worth. At least right now, I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> so let's head back, let's play some torches, just so we, uh... Okay, which way do we- Oh, let's do that thing again, where- I can't, like- There you go. Right, now, which way do I have to go? Up or down, I think. This way, to the right, and then, yep, and then right here, I'm able to... What? There you go. Parkour. Get rid of that block. Right above my head. And... and oh! Parkour. Nice. All right, let's get back to the rope, and let's get out of here, you guys. It's daytime. It's the perfect time to, uh, continue adventuring above ground and keep on heading left. I guess I'll just call it west, right? Even though I don't know if... I'm like, it, it just... Oh, sand slime. Oh, how much health do these guys have again? Oh, yeah, they have 60, so they, have, they actually have a pretty good amount. Remember, like, the black and the, the red and yellow and all that kind of stuff slimes we've seen underground? I don't think they had that much health, so that's actually kind of interesting. Uh, to get the mushrooms... Oh, whoa, it's still, uh... It gets still hot over here or something like that, because you can see the way... Oh, wait! Hey, we're back to, uh, regular forest. Let's see if we can get that bird. I see that bird. Let me see if I can capture him. Oh, no! Man! That sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's grab that. And there's just iron there. I guess I can grab it real quick. Hey, a little bit of clay! Now, if that was silt, I would I would continue grabbing it. 
And what else was it? Slush? Silt, slush, and fossils. Of course, we just talked about the fo- Oh god, purple slime. Let's get him with a bow and arrow. There you go. Of course, I can get- Actually, you know what? Let's get him with the shurikens, because they're like right there in collateral. There you go. <laughs> Even got one of my uh, shurikens back. Nice. But yeah, let's continue mining the uh, iron here, just because hey, why not? There you go. And hopefully in the future, we're able to get the silver shoes. And then, uh, just have even more armory, and that'd be great, especially for an upcoming boss battle I want to do, you know? Let's kill these- oh wait, am I zoomed down a little bit? Oh, I was! Just a little bit. Okay, there you go. I was wondering why these guys looked a little bit smaller than usual. Come on over here. Like a piece of trash, there you go, nice. <laughs> Saw a bird over here. I don't think I can get him. Oh yeah, I left my sickle at home, but no, not that big of a deal. My pig bank? Yeah, I've got my pig bank, no problemo. Oh, we found some, like, above-ground clay pots, that's interesting. Definitely want to keep grabbing these, uh, mushrooms. Because we can use those for healing, you know. Uh, 65 copper. I'm uh, better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> There's another, uh, tor or, uh, yeah, torches, silver, copper. I can't complain about that. 71 copper, rope, silver, and copper. I think it's just stacking up with the. Oh, there's a chest, though. Oh, a lesser healing potion. Nice. Awesome. Now, what's inside of the chest? Rash radar detects enemies around. That seems good. Do I have to put that in, like, the equipment or something? Or just keep it in my inventory? Oh, what's that thing? Creature count. Ooh, so I guess I just have to keep in my inventory that I'm good. Nice. Herb bag. We saw that earlier. I don't know if I still have mine or what. Arrows, lesser healing potion, recall potion, shine potion, bottles. Okay, let's take those. I guess we'll take the chest, even though it's not really that big of a deal. We can craft chests, but, you know, I guess we'll take it just because, hey, why not? I think that's iron down there, so I don't think I need to freak out about that or anything like that. But I guess I'll place some torches over here just because, uh, might as well light it up. Especially if we're not going to be using the mining helmet here in the future. Uh, but anyways, let's keep going this way. Man, if we can get swimmer, or, uh, not swimmer, uh, flippers, that'd be amazing. I I'm definitely looking forward to potentially swimming sometimes. Oh, wait, what in the world? Oh, looks like, I guess it goes back to a desert area of here. But yeah, I definitely, oh, two, oh, look at that. Yeah, see, it works. Two enemies nearby. Vulture, sand slime, nothing else over here. I like that. Three enemies nearby, actually. Hold on, what else is around here? Sand slime, vulture, what else? I don't know, maybe it's just outside of my zoom or something like that, but speaking of sand slime, we got him. Got him, there you go, nice. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know, I guess I'll try and dig through this. Oh, look, it is sand. I should be able to dig through it easily, like, look at this. It's not that big of a deal, I guess. Uh, so I guess we'll just do this, maybe, maybe I'll make it like a, a ramp, because I, I don't want to build up to, there you go, to, like, up there and use, like, resources and stuff like that, but, yeah, here we go. I just ramp up, no problem, but there you go, get the heckin' vulture out of here, trash. There you go. Two enemies nearby. I like this thing, though. What was it called again? Rash Radar? I don't know why it's called that, but hey, it gives me plus 2% movement speed if I'm actually wearing it. So that's actually interesting. Uh, what do my boots do? 3%. Yeah, this one does 3% movement speed, so that's kind of interesting. Let's keep heading to the west. I kind of want to check the map real quick. Yeah, we made some decent progress here, you guys. Not bad. Look at that. We've, we've gone... Uh, I said I wanted to go about halfway-ish, at least, but I'm, I'm going to go all the way. So let's keep going. Yeah, this desert's pretty heckin' big. You guys. Whoa, what's that? There's, oh, it might just be terrain. Yeah, th there's like green bits. I thought that maybe that was like weird ores or something like that, but no, it's just, I guess, like weird grass or something. Now, what is this? Why is that like glowing there? There's like crazy music playing too. What's that thing? Why is there like vines there? Oh, whoa, what in the world? I don't know what just attacked me right there, but. Wait, what? what's hitting me? Oh, am I dying from like heat or something? Ooh, what is that? A frog! Oh, can I catch him? I think that's the first time we've seen a frog. I got a frog! Uh, I do feel like we might be dying, might be dying from, like, heat or something, you guys. Might want to watch out for that. Because I'm not seeing anything, I'm just getting damaged, like, by nothing. So unless there's, like, a weird trap or something like that around here. Pardon me, Sam Block. Hmm. Can't break that, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I was like, what is all this weird stuff I'm seeing? Oh, there's like an area down there. Hey, then there's a chest I see. Interesting. All right, let's head over there. I see just slimes and stuff. Now, what's that flower? That's an interesting looking flower. I don't know if it's like a... That's not telling me. I guess I'll grab it if I can. Let's see if I can grab this bird. Oh, it's a bat. Let's get the bat. There you go. It's the first time we've seen the bat. Oh, man. Yeah, look at that. Four enemies nearby. I like that. Although, I'm like, they're just slimes, so... If we can get the slime, or, uh, get this flower after we kill the slime, of course. It's like dripping water right there. And five enemies nearby. Got a mana thing. But still five, six, and man, the enemy list keeps going up. I don't know why. Let's just get rid of all these vines. 
I don't know if I can actually get the vines, like harvest the vines, if I had a... Uh, my sickle or anything like that. Uh, I think we left that at home, so that sucks. Uh, I guess we'll keep going this way. See if there's anything else over here, because there's a chest right there. I definitely... Oh, whoa, it's leaking, man! All right, well, let's see. Iron bars! Hey, got some rope! Oh, I can't... Oh, man, my inventory is full, actually. Hold on. Yeah, uh, I'm probably going to drop a bunch of the sand and stuff that we got. There's that good bat there, too. Got him, nice. Uh, let's see. Dirt blocks and stuff. Yeah, well, let's put it inside the chest. So, sand, yeah, let's put that in there. Dirt block. Sandstone block, yeah, I don't care about that clay, mud. Uh, it's just garbage, so who cares? Blink root, where did I get that? Must have been from the cave or something. Uh, is there anything else you don't really need? Like the bunnies and stuff, I don't really need those anymore, but... I don't know if I actually get rid of them. Stone block right there, I'll get rid of that one. Yeah, there's another shackle, and a guarding shackle. I don't know. I guess we can put those up or something. I don't know. Either way, whoa, whoa! Agile, what? Wait, what? That was here? Oh, I guess I thought it was like a fishing pole or something like that, but... Agile wand of sp sparking, not sparkling. Eight melee, or eight magic damage, seven percent critical strike, fast speed, no knockback, two mana, shoots a small spark, eleven percent speed, three percent critical strike chance because it's agile. Ooh, let's put that. Uh, I'm probably not going to cut down any trees anytime soon, so let's put that there. Set that out here in just a moment. But iron bars, I tried to grab those. Rope, arrows, lesser healing, shine, uh, and there's the sand blocks and all that kind of stuff. I guess I'll leave the chest here just because I don't care. And I placed some torches over here, so I know I've been here before, so that's good. And I don't know if there's anything else over there to the right. I don't think I want to go. <laughs> it's just going to drain the uh, the water a little bit more. But what is that thing? Oh, it didn't even give me anything. There's like a bug. A grub? Ugh, grubby. Ugh, disgusting. Pecking worms and stuff. But, uh, there we go. Jungle grass seeds. And I got blueberries there again. There's another frog! Hey, we we found a swamp, you guys! I just now noticed we're in a heckin' swamp, and there's heckin' piranhas down there. And like an under- Whoa! A water chest! Man, I'm liking this, you guys. Oh, what, what is this? Is this something? Oh, it's just copper ore. Okay, I was wondering, like, what that was. It's like a weird altar or something like that, but no, it's just right, the copper ore. Nothing crazy. Eleven enemies nearby, yeah. With those uh, piranhas there. What was this? Oh, it's just red or dirt, I guess. Those piranhas over there. Just, yeah, look at all those second piranhas, you guys. Golly. I kind of want to go, like, right there, shoot a shuriken, and get, like, a, an eight-way collateral or something crazy with that thing, you know? Definitely want to try that out. Still got them in my hot bar. I could easily use... Oh, let's try out the magic... Sp uh, want to spark... Whoa, whoa. I'm like, I... Oh, God, we're taking some decent... Oh, God, it's on fire. <laughs> it's on like fire. So I guess we could do some damage over time. If we hit these things with the, with the sparking. Oh, I can't do it in water, of course. That makes sense. And it's kind of... It, it takes some time to get used to how, to how to shoot these things. But yeah, look at that. A little bit of damage over time, I assume, from being on fire right there. Not as good as the... uh the Whatever the, 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 the amethyst uh, staff. I don't think it's as good as that, honestly. But it's kind of interesting. I like it. Interesting. It, it's our second, like, thing that uses magic. So that's cool. I like it. Moon glow? How do I grab that? Or do I just pick it up in my inventory as well? I think so. Uh, jungle grass. I guess I'll get rid of that. Oh, there we go. I'll grab the moon glow stuff, though. There we go. Drop that garbage. Uh, we do have the piggy bank, by the way, so we could use that. Oh, God. Oh, there's just a slime. Just go down there and kill it or something like that. Now, where are these piranhas go? I know there's a, uh, oh, there they are right there. Oh, my gosh. But I've got to, I've got to compensate. Look at all that collateral. Golly. It's just a meat grinder. Oh, my gosh. That was amazing! Anyways, let's go down here and see what's inside of the water chest. Pres yes! We got some flippers! We got some heckin' flippers, you guys! Final heckin' Lee! Alright, well, let's turn it to nighttime here. Either right now or pretty soon or something. I kinda wanna maybe get the piggy bank out. Of course, we have to place down a, a workbench or, you know, something to actually... I wonder if I can put it on a chest. I doubt we can, but there's a bat over there. Uh... Is there anything I can just drop from my inventory or dry? Yeah, I guess I'll just put some stuff in the piggy bank. Just kind of clear out some inventory that away. See if we can place a workbench. Can I place the piggy bank, like, underwater? I can! Hey, that's good. Well, thankfully, the only uh, dangerous things around here are just heckin' slime, so we can just slice and dice those guys, no problem. But I love that little shuriken bit right there. I wonder if there's anything else I can do, uh, collateral damage like that. That'd be cool. And let's quick stack the... There you go, the money. There's another bat over there. Man, it's like a heckin' water bat or something crazy. But, uh... Copper ore, yes, but man, heckin' slimes. I'm like, I'm not gonna die from these guys, hopefully. <laughs> but they're just annoying. Iron ore, grubby, I don't really care about that. I'll put the, uh, the potions up. Herb bag, yeah, I'll put that up. Uh, I'll put the, hey, no, ayo hey, dog, I heard you like chests, so I'll put a chest in your chest. I'll put the, uh, the animals up, just because I'm not gonna use them. Same thing with the, uh, the weapons and stuff there. I'll put those up. Uh, I'll, I'll keep the glowfish and stuff. Wooden hammer, I'm probably not gonna use it, but I guess I'll just keep it, just in case I wanna use, uh, break the background for whatever reason. 
Oh, what? Again? The How many times is this going to happen? How many times are we going to get Hagen Blood Moon? Golly. Well, they, oh god. Well, let me put that. Oh gosh, they're here. They've arrived. The creatures have arrived. I'm gonna have to actually heck and go back home or something like that, you guys. There's so many heckin' creatures around here. I just wanna get the heckin' water chest and get the loot. With the flippers, mining potion, silver coins. I like the water chest, so I'll take it. There you go. What is this thing? I don't know, but it didn't give me anything right there. But golly, zombies around here. I guess I'll continue to the left. But this sucks. I wanted to experience this heckin' swamp, but I can't because everything's heckin' bloodied. <laughs> it's disgusting now. Hopefully Kyle and everyone else. Man, there's a lot of vases in here. Golly, we're getting like silver and, and rope and arrows. And there's another chest. Hey, what's your healing? But look at all these. That, uh, that's a second chest in here. Golly, that's a lot. I like it. Nice. Uh, I don't know if I'll... More silver? I don't know if I'll, like, wall this off and just kind of hang out inside here for a little while. We got dripplers over here. I'm probably going to end up killing my 50th dripler here very soon. Speaking of dripping, there's a heck of blood water dripping from the ceiling now. It's disgusting. Play some torches over here. At least light it up. That way it's not going to only be let, uh, near me, you know? Oh, God. Regular is not... Oh, what? Oh, we still had uh, torches enabled. Oh, oh, my God. I'm going to die. What is that? What was that thing? I don't know, but I'm going to, I'm going to place down a campfire over here. Uh, where did it go? There it is. And we, we get some healing. And I think we, uh, we, we have a zombie banner. I put it up in the, uh, the piggy bank, so I'm going to have to get that out if I want to do extra damage to them. Uh, I don't know if it'd be worth it, though, but, uh, let me get these plants. Uh, st wait, oh, there are, like, snails and other creatures over here, so definitely one, don't want to kill them. They seem like specialty-type creatures, though. Probably be good bait or something like that, but, uh, oh, yeah, I think I got killed by the heckin' zombies and stuff, so that sucks. Ah. Oh, there's, like, a skull that fell out of that guy. Ugh. Uh, let's see what's inside of these chests, though. More herb bag, arcane aglet, increased. To oh man, plus 20 mana. Hey, that's basically giving us a free mana star right there. Nice. I think I have to wear it, though, so that sucks. Rope, arrows, recall potion. Nice. And let's see what's inside of the other chest. Wild aglet, plus 5% uh, increased movement speed, plus 1% melee. All right, and some other uh, standard potions right there. So which one was what? Uh, arcane aglet? Gives us better movement speed and more mana, so that's, that's pretty good. 20 enemies nearby, golly. How many times are we gonna- Whoa! I just got something, I don't know what that was. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna- Oh, yeah, there's another one of those I can- Snatcher. Yeah, the heckin' piranha plant or whatever that is. Jeez. There's another three of plants, I wanna see what these are. I didn't get anything from those. Oh, yeah, it just gives us like a grubber or whatever there, so. There you go. I don't know if I wanna wear the aglet or anything like that right now. And Can I even wear it? I'm like, I've got a regular one right here. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll wear the arcane ones. Uh, yeah, it'll give us a little bit more mana. Just because I've got a regular one right there. It doesn't give us anything but uh, a little bit of movement speed. So, there you go. And we have a little bit of extra mana out of that. But, yeah, I might be able to just, like, wall this off over here and just kind of hang out <laughs> or something like that. I don't know if I want to do that, though. Because, you know, killing these guys is relatively easy. We, we've got the, the blood moon is about halfway done-ish. You know, it's maybe like 40% right now. These guys are relatively easy to kill. Uh, with our katana, at least. And I don't think we need to worry about it too much. At least we're getting a lot of, like, money out of this stuff. And maybe I'll continue adventuring to the left a little bit. And get that guy. There you go. So I guess that's how you kill the Snatcher easily. You just wait for him to stretch out and you'll be able to hit him, but he can't hit you. So that's good. There's a piranha right there in, like, blood water. Jungle bat. Well, that makes sense. I was wondering, like, why bats are, like, above ground all of a sudden. But there you go. Like, what is that thing? Sluggy. Ugh. Yeah, that's a lot of bats. Surprised we're not getting like any more. Oh, well, speaking of such, we got the demon eye. Not seeing any more of those dribblers, though. That sucks. Because I wanted to kill like 50 of them and get their uh, banners so I can put it at home in my collection. <laughs> but uh, let's kill these guys real quick. There you go. Got the zombies. I might go back and get my, uh, my, my, uh, what do you call that thing? Oh, hold on. What was that thing again that I picked up? Wild depth meter displays depth and hey, plus 1% uh, movement speed. Not bad. So, oh, yep. 106 feet. Oh, yeah, we just went up a few blocks there and went up to 110 right there. Interesting. So, I guess if we're in the caves, we can see how close we are down to the heckin' the bottom, basically. So, that's good. Uh, did we get all the stuff? Yes, we did. And there's another heckin'... What's that guy again? Yeah, just a blood zombie. It's disgusting. Everything's, like, all tinted red. It's kind of crazy. Like, it makes sense because it's heckin' blood moon, right? But, oh, I wonder where I can craft. Oh, yeah, the rope coils and wood and uh, fire air, flaming arrows, uh, sticky glow sticks. I don't know. 
know if I'll get those. Maybe I will. I'm like, uh, we, we have a lot of gel. We might as well use it, you know? So uh, we're hit full health right now. 20 enemies nearby, golly. Scrap our campfires, continue heading to the left. I assume a lot of those enemies are just uh, heckin' jungle bats and stuff like that, you know? So I don't think we need to worry too much about those. But, uh, oh, yeah, and piranhas. So bats and piranhas, that's probably the majority of the creatures that are uh, near us. I don't know what really near means. I guess it seems like it's a little bit bigger than what I could see on the fully zoomed out screen, so. Uh, was there anything? Oh, I thought there was like an underwater chest I could see or something like that. That would have been crazy, but nah. I think so. Not there, at least. But thankfully, speaking of underwater chest, I guess we'd have to... W I don't know, maybe put that in like an equipment slot or something like that. We'd have to figure out like what to get rid of so we could actually swim a little bit more agile in the water. I kind of want to see... What, what, what else did that flipper thing say? Grants the ability to swim, yeah. Okay, so this one gives us 2% critical strike chance, so that's actually good. So we do a little bit of, like, what, double damage? If we do critical damage, or strike, or whatever, so that's cool. There we go. And a bat, there you go. Now I'm going to continue going to the left, even though we've got a heckin' blood moon going on right now. It's about uh, two-thirds done, though, so that's good. We got an advantageous position right here where heckin' piranhas can't get to us, but we can kill that good drippler and stuff. I don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to kill our 50th drippler. I don't know how many we killed on the- Oh, God! Snatcher right there. 32 damage. I might get him with a bow and arrow, though. There we go. Get him with a bow. Keep spamming it. I'm gonna get my heckin' katana out to get the melee zombies. There we go. Another zombie there. A lot of zombies from the right. Man. Man, I don't, I don't know how I haven't gotten, like, a... Oh, you've killed your, like, 500 zombie thing thus far. We, we've killed so many of them. I don't know. Maybe maybe they don't count. Oh. Fallen uh, star. Where's this one at? Oh, it's in the water over there. Nice. We got a drippler over there. Cave bat. And that, uh, that snatcher right there is pretty low health. I might be able to just melee it and kill it that way, so... I don't think we need to worry too much about that, but... There we go, we got it, nice. I don't know if we can get anything from this thing in particular. We, uh, still have a little bit of inventory space, so that's good. But down here is the Fallen Star. Oh! A lot of piranhas down here. Yeah, 25 enemies. We're at 63 feet on the server. We must have been, like, on a mountain or something like that right there, golly. I wonder what our, uh, depth was in the caves. So I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but yeah, I want to know how close we were to the bottom, even though it looked like we weren't really too close. I don't know if it gets negative. I guess it, yeah, I guess it does get negative, huh? If you're in the caves, it'll probably be like, oh, negative like 40 feet or something like that. Instead of like zero being like the actual limit or something like that. 100 demon eye! We got another one of those banners. Yep, there it is right there. It can be placed. Monos against uh, demon eyes. So grab the, uh, the, the fallen star over there before it turns to daytime, because that, that's when it despawns, right? So don't want to do that. Uh, there you go, get these guys. We're down about half health right now. We need to watch out. I'm trying to kill these heckin' piranhas. So I could actually hit them in the water, but they can't hit me. But there's a lot of heckin' creatures there. Golly. 20 enemies nearby. Whoa. We can actually see our... Wait, did I pick up a compass? I think I did. Yeah, look at that. 3,000 feet or something like that west. Hey, I like that. So we've basically been able to pinpoint our exact location, depth, as well as, uh, you know, latitude and longitude-wise. That's, that's cool. And I guess you just keep it in your inventory at all times. Uh, there might be a thing. Because this is two separate things that I have in my inventory, apparently. There might be a thing that, like, does both, and I don't have to worry about, uh, having two inventory slots being taken up by that garbage, but... Yeah, I don't have the flippers, like, equipped right now. Oh, did I pick up the thing? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, speaking of such, it's about to turn daytime, but... Oh, God, I need to, uh... uh I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll just kind of regen. You know what? I'll take a health. There you go, just because why not? I'm like, I could use the healing, but... Seems like we found a jungle pit over here, you guys. Just like the, uh, the sand pit in the desert. I don't know where the- Oh man, it's all the way over there! Golly! I don't know if I can make a jump here. I guess I'll have to place down some platforms, so do that. Let's try and go grab the, uh, the Fallen Star before it despawns from turning to daytime! Can I do it? Oh, we got piranhas, like three- of, Yep, three of them right there! And they're nibbing at me! 50th piranha! Hey! I can't even get the piranha banner! Forget- Forget that! I'm going to get the, uh, the- Two Fallen Stars here? Nice! I can get another, uh, 20 mana! So not only going to get plus 20 mana- Oh! Whoa, it just turned to daytime- Oh! Another bry! Let's kill her before she despawns from the Blood Moon uh, stopping or whatever. I don't know if she will despawn, though. Uh, she'll probably still just be here forever. But there you go. Be here. Till death does us part. Well, now you're dead there, bride. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're getting a lot of stuff out of these, uh, these, these random heckin' vases over here. That's good, like rope and stuff, but now my inventory is full of garbage. <laughs> I need to get my piggy bank out, back out. Put some trash back inside of it. We can pick up some other stuff here, but, uh, another wedding gown right there. I don't, I don't know if we can get money from that. I forget, I forget the look if we're, uh, when we're trading, right? But, uh, 
All we have to really worry about right now is just hacking jungle bats and piranhas and slimes now, so that's good. I think that's just iron right there. I guess we'll grab it. Oh, never mind. There's a slime that made its way over here. And there you go. And there you go. We got it. Piranhas, I don't think they can make our, their way up here, though, so that's good. So let's grab the iron while we're, we can. We got another slime. Two slimes, actually. They're heckin' closing in on me. Come on. There you go. Nice. I don't know if that heckin' slime wants to wear that wedding dress or what, dude. I'll go grab it, though. Uh, now we got a bat. I don't know if the bats can- Yeah, I don't think they can get to me in the water, right? That'd be kinda crazy if they could. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I think I might have run out of space. Yeah, I can't get that iron ore for some reason. Uh, jungle grass seeds. Yeah, let's get rid of that. There you go. Now I can get the, uh, the iron ore. There's some, there you go, some coins right there. Hey, I'll go into that cave over here to the left. And, uh, place down some torches, and then place down my workbench and my piggy bank. That way I can... There you go. Now I can actually store some stuff inside there and be kind of somewhat safe, too. Let's place down a workbench. Uh, where can I place that? I guess I can't place it here. I'm going to I'm going to level it out a little bit, I suppose, huh? So there you go. And there you go. That's nice and leveled out there. Can I place it? Yes, I can. Perfect. Place our piggy bank. There you go. And see if we could put anything else inside there. So, yeah, we just picked up some iron ore. So, yep, put that inside there. Campfire definitely want to keep that. Blink root, I'll put that up. Potions, I'll put those up. That's our healing potion. I don't know why they didn't stack right there, but hey. Uh, Fallen Star, yeah, let's definitely make the mana crystal. There you go, and get another 20 mana. Golly, we're up to 180. We're good. We have <laughs> the same amount of mana right now that we have health. Definitely need to get more uh, health stuff here in the future, though. Uh, life crystals under the ground. But yeah, we, we did get a compass right there. Display towards all the position. Wild depth meter. Uh, I guess just a depth meter. I got a wild variant of it that does the melee speed. But uh, displays depth, so that's interesting. Uh, I guess I'll put the water chest up in there, as well as the other potions, water leaf. Precise flipper, I guess we could put that, uh... I'm like, we got two running shoes now. I don't think I need to wear that one does damage, that one does movement speed. Uh, I thought we had another thing that did movement speed, but I guess not. Kinda wanna keep the one that does damage, though, you know? That way you do a little bit more damage. So, yeah, I, I guess I'll get rid of the Her Hermes ones and put these up in the piggy bank. There you go, and put the precise flippers on. There you go, nice. We got the bats that are coming to me, I see them. And we can actually test out the flippers here in just a moment. Yeah, look at all the heckin' bats! Eleven enemies nearby and like half of them are bats. Golly! Trash! Guys, uh, let's place a torch over here because I think I actually broke a torch or something. Is there anything else in my inventory I want to put up? Uh, we got some frogs, I guess I'll put those up. <laughs> a demon eye banner, yeah. Uh, there was a piranha banner act there. I guess I'll go grab it. Wild aglet, yeah, I'll put the aglets up. And the mud blocks and stuff. Uh, lenses, I'll put those up too. And the wild, uh, whatever that was. There we go. Empties our, emptied our inventory out. Why oh, significantly right there, so that's good. Yeah, we got a wedding dress, we got a piranha banner over here. Oh god, there's a- Man! where all that stuff come from? Jeez! I guess they just spawned in after the, uh, the blood moon subsided. There you go. Let's see if I can get those guys with, like, shurikens or something crazy. Oh, I can just get this guy, like- There you go. Them heckin' shurikens get some collaterals on these heckin' like, piranhas. Nice! Look at that! That is amazing! These heckin- like, they, they definitely have their use. There's the piranha banner. Which I don't think really makes sense to have, uh, in our house, you know? Just because there's actually no water over there. I mean, I haven't seen piranhas in the, uh, the under area. The, uh, the fishing area, either, so... I think we need to place it over there, to be quite honest, so... Uh, I guess we can just keep it until we... Unless we make, like, another base or something like that. I wonder if you have multiple bases, multiple beds. Oh, I guess it just go to whatever your... Like, the most recent bed was, because you have to set your spawn point. It doesn't do it automatically right like that, so... I guess you can't have multiple spawn points. So that sucks. It's not like Ark Survival of Hollow where you can, you know, have multiple spawn points and just choose your spawn point after you die. But the, the random stuff we just hooked- OH! We got a hook! Oh, I guess they're dropped by both skeletons and piranhas, so now we can make... Which, if we had iron, which we have some iron bars there, I think we need to make the forge or, or the anvil or something like that. Uh, to make the chains. The metal chains, the iron chains. But now we can make the grappling hook, right? So that's good. Let's definitely put that up right there, so that's good. Uh, I did, I think I got some comments from you guys saying, yeah, you can make like a, like a topaz hook, or like a, an amethyst hook, or something like that too, but I don't think we need to worry about that, honestly. Let's put the bottles up, I don't know why I didn't put those up before, sheesh. Uh, seeds, I don't know if I want to put those up, I'll just drop it, honestly. Boomerang, I'll keep that, we still have the shuriken, so I'll, I'll keep those up there. Yeah, let's drop the, uh, oh, what does that guy have inside of him, what? Oh, it's a, it's a yellow heart, but I don't know what that means. No, no, it's not a yellow, he's a green slime. He's got a red heart inside of him, and it kind of looks yellow, so yeah, it just gives us health, I guess, right? If we kill this guy. Uh, yep, 20 health right there, nice, so we're full health. So, let's go grab our piggy bank back, as well as our workbench, and then right here in this, like, hole, I guess we'll, uh, throw some garbage I don't care about, so... Let's see, let's get rid of the jungle grass. How do I just, uh... 
Oh, there we go. Okay, that, that's how you throw it out. Grubbies. Oh, I picked it up. Yeah, let's get a, a little bit more vertical. There's another heckin' thing right there, but... Uh, let's drop the seeds. There we go. I'll need that garbage. Blueberries, I'll put that up. I don't know if I could actually eat them or whatever, but I don't really care too much. Moon glow, I guess, uh... I don't know. I have, oh, wait, one the world. I have two depth meters now. All right, well, I guess maybe I'll get rid of this one just because I don't care. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it and see if I could sell it. And if I need the inventory space or whatever, I could just put it up inside the, the pig bank. But, uh, right. Oh, yeah. And now we can swim, so... How do I do that again? Oh, yeah, you can actually physically see the flippers on me now, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not wearing those, uh... Well, I am. Yeah, I am wearing the sailfish stuff, but... I don't know why it's not showing the, uh, the other stuff. Yeah, you know, right here, I'll, I'll just dig through the bottom. I don't think we need to go, like, around or whatever. And I, I can just climb up from here, right? So, let's see. There we go. And boom. Nice. Awesome. Well, we're still in the jungle. Where are we at on the map, though? We're about halfway. We're about half. Yeah, over here is where we dug down. This is where there's this is the big hole. Oh, God. There's a crimson altar in the heckin' desert right there, you guys. I didn't even see that, but yeah, I, I guess I never zoomed out to see the big map right there. But yeah, there's a crimson altar there. Another crimson al Two crimson altars over here in the jungle. Golly. Yeah, this is a big jungle hole right there. So I guess uh, each biome. Potentially has a big heckin'... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, we did cover a lot of ground here, golly. Yeah, look at that, we're, we're getting kinda close to the coast now, so that's good. Let's keep going. Oh, God! Uh... Oh, I was about to say, was there like a pyramid here this whole time? I didn't even notice it, but yeah, I guess there is a... Something. What is this? I think I just got 20 health right there. Can I climb up this bit? Oh, yep, I can. Now, what is that thing? I guess it's just one of those weird nothings, okay. <laughs> But I kind of want to see, uh, oh, 50th Jungle Bat. Did I get a banner for that? Just randomly? Or not? I don't think I got a banner from that, man. All right, well, uh, yeah, over here in the water, I'll place down, uh, the mud blocks and stuff I don't care about. I wanted to put those up, too, but, oh, yeah, I did get the Jungle Bat, uh, thing right there, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't really care about it too much, but, uh, oh, yeah, you just may use that to make dye the blueberries, so I don't think you can eat that, unfortunately. Uh, I've got the workbench still, so that's good. And the, oh, God, man! You piece of garbage made me pick up the trash that I just threw out. Ah, let's go. Let's throw it over here, I guess. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to pick it up again. No, slime man. Why was that guy so fast? Jeez. Like, heckin' speedy Gonzales or something crazy. Anyways, we found a heckin' temple or something over here, you guys. It's crazy. 